I'm calling it right now. More Americans will renounce their U.S. citizenship after November's elections than ever before in history. But the reason isn't what you're thinking, and I'll tell you why. How do I know this? Why am I credible to talk about this? Well, while I haven't renounced my American citizenship and really don't have plans to any time in the near future, I have lived outside of my home country of the United States for three years now. And now look at the United States from a foreign perspective, as well as kind of a nationalist, uh, patriotic perspective as well. So believe me when I say this, America has changed. And because of that change, millions are willing to give up their US passport and citizenship. So in this video, we're gonna cover who's going to win in November, why the wealthy are leaving, and where the hell they're going. All right, so first, let's lay the foundation for this conversation. You've got Trump, you've got Biden, and you've got Kennedy, three octogenarians almost. So who's going to win? Who's going to solve inflation? Who's going to reduce cost of living? Who's going to solve the housing crisis and reduce tuition costs? Who's going to give you the best shot at the American dream? The most freedom, the most opportunity, the best economic chance to thrive. I have some bad news for you, and you may already know this, but none of those people are going to solve the problems that are plaguing Americans today. The trend of wealthy Americans, because of those unsolvable problems, and institutional issues are already leaving. One, the wealthy are leaving, and two, the rate at which wealthy Americans are leaving their home country is accelerating. So this leads us to the second section about why these wealthy Americans are leaving the country. The age of freedom in America is recognized as being over, and a lot of people recognize that in 2020 during the pandemic and the government's response to that pandemic. And why do I say that age of freedom is over? Let's run through a list of reasons why people are leaving and why they might think that life is better elsewhere. Although taxes are at some of their lowest rates since World War II, a lot of people think any income tax is theft. And if you look back to the foundation of our country in 1776, they were trying to get rid of taxation from a government that did not represent them. For so many people, the cost of life in the US is no longer worth it. There's more inflation, more regulations than ever, medical interventionism, more woke policies and, and corporations running everyday Americans' lives, more financial and speech censorship, more housing market crises across the country, more exit and wealth taxes, more animosity toward entrepreneurs and the wealthy, which has always confused me. The, the list goes on and on. And for a few of those reasons, I left the country three years ago. But perhaps the biggest reason I left the country is because I realized this simple fact. The American dream is better lived outside her borders. Financial freedom is more easily achieved outside of the borders of the United States of America. The internet now allows you to, yes, of course, rake in the income just as you would in the United States working in that country, and to reduce your cost of living and reduce your taxes significantly. And the, the data backs up exactly what I've been referring to. More people are searching digital nomadism. More people are searching remote work. And more people are actually taking the steps to pay the wealth tax and leave America behind. They've given up U.S. citizenship and said goodbye to their home country. They've realized that having all of their eggs in a single basket, meaning all of your assets, all of your income streams, all of your options under one single authority, under one single government, that's not a good idea. More location independence equals more diversification equals more optionality equals more sovereignty and freedom. So where are all these Americans going in the world? And after November's elections, where will they be going? Let's cover two options in Europe 
and one in Latin America. The so three most popular spots, I think, for Americans leaving their home country. Number one, Portugal. Despite them closing their incredibly tax-friendly, non-habitual tax regime uh, a few months ago, they still have some of the lowest taxes on personal income in the European Union. Plus, Portugal has an environment very similar to California. So if you're from California and you think that the Californian climate and, and the things to do and the, the way of life of California doesn't exist elsewhere, I beg to differ. So Portugal is a great option if you want citizenship outside the United States, as there are plenty of pathways to citizenship within about five years, but also a great option for uh, residency or just 90 days, 180 days a year. Number two, for those looking for a little bit closer proximity to the U.S. in case they have business there, in case they have family there, and want to be close in, in case of emergency, Mexico is a wonderful choice. I always laugh when people get pissed off about an election and they say they're going to move to Canada of all places. No, it's the other way around. Everybody is going to Mexico. And in terms of my experience here in Latin America, I, I like Mexico. But if you're looking for more of an Americanized feel where you have Walmart and, and restaurants and kind of a feel more similar to the United States than, say, Peru, Mexico is a good choice. But you can also get a more off the beaten path, the, the more rugged choice in Mexico as well. I lived here in Latin America for almost three years and have really, really enjoyed my experience here. The third and final destination for Americans leaving their home country is Malta. And if you're not familiar with Malta, it's a small island, technically European and belongs to the European Union, but it's south of Tunis in Tunisia in the Mediterranean Sea. So it's very close to North Africa but it has that Mediterranean climate, that Mediterranean culture that you might see on the coast of Spain and Italy and France, Portugal, very similar ways of life. And like Portugal, Malta has one of the best tax regimes in the European Union. So for high net worth folks who are looking for a second citizenship, looking for a second residency, Malta is another fantastic option. My goal with this channel and the Freedom Files in general, is not to drag on the United States. And it's not to drag on Canada or Western Europe or the people in those countries, not at all. My goal is simple, to help you realize that you may be better off, you might be healthier, you might be happier, you might be wealthier and freer in a country not where you were born and to help you make that move and make it as easy as possible. Also, I've helped more than 100 people work and earn online, move abroad, and reduce their cost of living and reduce their taxes. And I can help you too. If you go to freedomfiles.co, you'll see a criteria list where I list the 17 most important criteria that you should be thinking about when you're thinking about relocating across the ocean or across the Americas. This is a list of criteria that you need to know before you move and you can download it for free at freemfiles.co. See you in the next video.